The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. Winner of the 2013 Newbery Medal and also made it into a movie. Uh, this is the first in a now three book series. So, should you get started in this series? And most importantly, what does Princess the Cat think? Is this book feline friend or foe? That's coming up next. As you might have guessed, the one and only Ivan is about a gorilla named Ivan. It's told from Ivan's point of view, so you see the world through the eyes of a gorilla. But this is a laid back and chilled out gorilla who lives in captivity like in a mall. And when the older elephant, not gorilla, an elephant, passes away, Ivan promises to look after the younger elephant, Ruby. But how can Ivan find a better place for Ruby? If such a better place existed, how could he get himself and Ruby there? You'll have to read the story to find out, but here's what people love about the book. First, it involves animals, and we all love animals. Second, the story is written in short sentences, and yet there is so much packed into those uh, simple statements. Seeing it through the eyes of a gorilla brings a whole new perspective. With tens of thousands of five-star ratings, it's safe to say that you should give this series a try. But what does Princess the Cat think about the one and only Ivan? Is it feline friend or foe? If you don't know Princess the Cat, she's a snooty cat featured in a series of books perfect for grades three through six or cat lovers of any age. But be warned, it's only for cat lovers. Check out links in the description below for paperbacks, audiobooks, and so on. But what does Princess the Cat think about the one and only Ivan? Is it feline friend or foe? She's really torn on this one, but she has to go with feline foe. You see, there's a clear hierarchy in the universe uh, for Princess the Cat. There's cats at the top, then humans, and then other animals. And this book shows how animals like gorillas and elephants are under humans. Uh, and did I forget to mention there's even a dog in the book? Uh, look for more of him in book two of the series. But this book fails to point out the obvious fact that cats rule over all. How can this not be pointed out? And Princess the Cat doesn't think the beloved author is assuming all the readers would have uh, taken this for granted. Okay, but it's still a good book. Well, that's all for this time, and I'll see you next time.